Georgia has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. It's hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Runs outside for a nice game. Intelligent, decisive play to pitch it out to the tailback on the option. He had more room to run and picked up some quality yards. And he's level at the 46-yard line. They show pass and then hand it to the back for a pickup of eight yards. Second and two. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 46. And down he goes at the 43. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From the 43-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 43. to the receiver. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. That'll be a loss of one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. That'll bring up second and 12. This is the 10th play of this drive. Let's go, let's go. Tackle right around the 30. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers it looks like they're going to try for the long field goal mississippi state could take the lead with this field goal the kick is away it's long enough and he splits the uprights Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He gets rid of this one. From their own 25-yard line. Check Second three, down. Check three, check three. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Let's go. Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Catches it, and that's all. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out, and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm.
He really got a hold of that one. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Mississippi State holds a field goal lead. And he's tackled at the 33. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. He's hit and got away. They'll bring him down at the 35. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. He throws it. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. Mike 55, Mike 55, hey, eat, 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 eat. You hold this. He's on the run. The ball pops free, and it's picked up by one of the linemen. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. Seven yard line. It's second down. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled at the 48. He wants it all going long. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. It makes it so much easier to play corner when the defense can cause bad throws by getting good pressure in the backfield. From their own 11-yard line, it's first down. Five wide. Quick throw, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he is drilled at the 13. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Mississippi State's a team that was supposed to roll over and play dead in this football game, and they're not doing that. I think what we've seen so far is some good execution, but just more of an attitude. They have shown up to play in this game with a confidence and a belief in one another that they're going to pull off an upset today. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Mississippi State is up by three. Tackle made at the 12. Number 39 makes the set tackle at the 12 yard line. That makes it first and 10. They 
gets a hand up, but brought down before he could go anywhere. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play, come right in there, and make a nice stop. It's second and 13. Ball on the 16-yard line. And they make the stop right around the 14-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Bulldogs lead 3-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Ready. Check, check. Eagle. Throws in a hurry. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. From their own 20-yard line. First down. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. Brought down around the 31-yard line. He fires left side. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. From the 45-yard line, first down. He heaves it deep. It's picked off. It's the junior. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First and ten. Ball on their own one. Mississippi State is up a field goal. We've got a safety. Well, they went with a safe call and tried to run it. But this defense just swarmed to the ball and were able to get him in the end zone.
Room around the corner. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. Second and one. Second and one. Ball on the 43 yard line. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Goes incomplete, intended for his wide outs. Pass incomplete. Number 17, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Mississippi State staff right now, I would think, going into halftime, Kirk's got to be happy. I mean, here's their guy not having the kind of game he's used to having. But if they can get in the lead, I think they'd go right back to it. And to think that this team at this point has the lead, and, and considering the way their superstar has played, they've got to feel pretty good heading into halftime, knowing that it's a matter of time until their, their bell cow starts to really start to hit on all cylinders. And I wouldn't be shocked at all. You know, even though they have the lead, and he hasn't played well, you go into the second half, you still got to try to get him his touches and his carries and hope that eventually he catches fire. And who knows what this offense is really capable of doing today. And they get the sack. Perfect time to call the blitz. He took a bit of a chance, but it paid off by the linebacker being able to get through there, shoot the gap, and get to the quarterback.
from their own 12-yard line. Third down. Mississippi State with a one-point lead. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And that'll be three and out. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And this one is a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 42. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down in the open field. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Gets out to around the 22. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 19-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game. Third down. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. Short gain by the running back, and that's a first down. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, there was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. They bring him down in the backfield. One-yard loss for the halfback. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13, and they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. He's under some heat. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Number 17 was the intended receiver on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Hey, 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 hold, alert, alert. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Ready. One. There's a strike complete. He's down. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Georgia can take the lead here with this field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs know, I think, that at some point, they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. He's tackled at about the 49. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Mississippi State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Wide 80! Wide! 
and he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. Check, check. Six Tigers. Yards. Tigers. 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 Down. Let's go. Green 90. Green 90. Grabs it and hammered right there. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. The kick is away. It's long enough. No good. He hooked it left. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. George is leading by two. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Georgia's first half, really sort of a battle, certainly not anything like what they thought it would be, not as easy. And really, there's, there's not much excuse for this game to be this close, is there? No, I got some explaining to do. I mean, we, when you look at this score, I mean, it, it should be worse. You should be drubbing this team. You should be winning by a lot. But this is what we see. And this is the frustrating thing about college football, and especially for fans, because you're like, wait, we're so much better. None of those guys got recruited by, by our school. None of them chose our school or their school over us. We're so much better, so much more talented. But the emotion, not getting up, not getting ready to play is something that you can't take into account. And apparently, they weren't ready to play in the first half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. Great first Number half. Two, Hopefully, six, the second half is good. Right Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Georgia is up two. He throws it. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. From the 49-yard line, first down. Here we go. He's tackled in the open field. Met in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Pulls in the pass and steps out. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of down. And he has it on the corner. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. Number 91 with the tackle at the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. Down he goes, around the 25-yard line. Georgia with a two-point advantage. He's got it out to his tight end. He's brought down in the open field. It's first and ten. 
Ball on the 14 yard line. Passes. Tight end's got another one. He's knocked out of bounds right around the two yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. And they make the stop around the three-yard line. They need to get back to some hard-nosed north and south running and try not to get to the outside so much. The defense just has too much speed for that. We've got second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. You better Let's go. go. Touchdown, Bulldogs. <laughs> Trying to go up by two scores. They line up for the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback of those teams. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. George is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. Brought down at the 28. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Here we go. And he just gets rid of it. This flag came from the defensive secondary. Let's see what the call is. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Oh, excellent punt. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Gets it out quickly. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. to the receiver. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. Goes to the fullback and drops. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's good for a game of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Here we go! Red 85! Red 85! Throw 
fires it to the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. They're stopped two yards behind the line. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. tackled at the 26-yard line. But the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. He really got a hold of that one. Down at the 30 yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Bulldogs lead it by nine. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense trying to wear them down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Quick throw, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a nice six-yard gain. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Let's go, Mike 50. Mike 50. Let's go. 50 to Philly. He goes out of bounds around the 49 yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. He's taken down at the 22. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 22-yard line. Third down. Here we go. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now.
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. They'll bring him down at the 49. We're about set to start things up again. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Tight end left, tight end left. Four down, four down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Set, red 18. And they got him for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Makes it to the five. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. series this defense not wanting to give an inch here Stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. He's under some heat. And they won't get the two. This one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. He just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Let's go. Great 
pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Man, left, man, left. Left. Third and ten. Three down, three down. Two's the mic. Watch Mike, watch Mike. Ready! Green 95! Green 95! And they got him. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Georgia 18, Mississippi State 3. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.